we're back with our continuing coverage of CES 2020. I'm Patrick Holland, and joining me on stage is my colleague Roger Chang, and we have from Intel, Josh Newman and Bali. All right, hey, Patrick, Roger, thanks for having us. We're hey, super thanks for coming here. by. But I want to know about you guys, but I really want to know what you brought, which <laughs> is the Intel Horseshoe Bend Foldable PC. First of all, is it a PC? Is it a laptop? Tell me what it is. It's, it's the next generation of a laptop imagined. Um, you know, it's part of our project, Athena Innovation Program, that we're driving at Intel. It's all about understanding human needs today and tomorrow, and then driving the innovation with the industry to, to, to get there, to bring the next generation of laptops to meet those human needs. And so what uh, I brought Bali, our chief engineer, on this concept device that we've developed to really show you what's possible when we come together with the industry to create the next generation of amazing products. So um, what you see here is it starts out as, if you can imagine the, you know, going to a co-working space or uh, a Starbucks to go do some work, um, you can actually sit down and work like it's an all-in-one. It's a 17.3 inch, almost desktop-like experience. It comes with this you know, portable keyboard that you can carry around with you. Right? And, so, and we've solved a lot of problems here, um, which I'll talk about. The back that Bali just, you know, as he flipped it around, there is a very special cover that we put on it that also creates a stand for it. But then what we can do with it, right, with this 17.3 inch screen, we can then actually fold it into laptop mode. And so Bali's gonna show you that now. Oh, right? Where and, that thing go? and so, right, with the same cover, you didn't have to take the cover off, it just, you know, went back in. So one of the one of the problems we were trying to solve is how do you make that seamless in that transition? And now you have basically a two-screen device to do all kinds of amazing things with. And right. I'm going to take a look at this thing and all right, so got a bit you, of heft to it. So you could be playing the video, right, on, on, one, on one screen. You can go full screen on the video or you can play the video on the one screen. And you can scroll through, right? And it's a continuous be, screen, right? Right, and you could be scrolling on the other screen, uh, although I think your thumb was touching it, so there you go. There we go. Sorry, <laughs> Right, guys. so you could be scrolling. Look at that. <laughs> right? It's so, so yeah. a lot of screen. That yes. is a lot of screen real estate, for sure. Yeah, so you have all these great options for, you know, you can use one screen watching a video, and your second screen, you can be doing research about the different places you might want to go. Um, there's all kinds of uh, other types of use modes. Imagine, you know, an Excel file. All right, you want to have access to more of the cells in the file to get your work done and you know, really uh, you know, with much bigger screen area to work with, you, know, you can do that with this. And you can you know, switch back to the keyboard or you can use a, a soft keyboard on the device. So, so Josh, I guess my first question is, why do I need a screen that folds in half into a laptop? Yeah, so it's really, if you think about it as you know, the next generation of the two-in-one, what we've been researching and discovering about human needs is a lot of people are changing the way they work. A lot, of a lot more people are working remotely now. Um, in the last five years, there's a report that said, you know, 44% growth in remote work in the U.S. alone. And that remote work means, you know, sometimes you're going to a coffee shop, sometimes you're at your home office, sometimes you're in the, a client's office. And, you know, you want, in between those places, you might want to be using a traditional laptop mode. But other times when you have to really hunker down and get a big presentation done or a big spreadsheet done, you want the big screen area. And so you want more of a desktop experience. And to be able to set that up in any co-work space or Starbucks, you know, turn your laptop into that, we see that as a really exciting opportunity to delight those human needs right, for the various roles people play and the various different places they'll work and the modes they want to work in. So this is, this is really impressive to, to sort of see in person. I've been personally pretty wowed by the foldable devices we've seen over the last year. But the other big question is the durability. Like, we, we saw some issues with foldable phones last year. How much did durability kind of factor into the, the R&D process? And, and, and what did you sort of do to kind of uh, shore up the, the durability of these things? Yeah, so great question. Every, everything we are doing in this, in this concept device work is about incubating this future technology. So it can be brought out in high volume um, by our OEM partners and by the industry. So we're working really closely with the panel manufacturer. We're working to develop hinge technology, right, and cover materials that will, you know, stretch the cover as you as you go to one screen and will flex as you go to two screens. Um, we're working through several phases to get to, you know, where we can do a few hundred folds in the early prototype mm -hmm. phase. Mm -hmm. 
to thousands and thousands of folds over the lifetime of a device right. and still have that durable reliability. So this is the whole purpose of doing a concept device like this is so that we can really pave the way for the industry to innovate and bring amazing products based on this in the future. And just to be completely clear, this is a prototype we're seeing. I'm not going to go to Best Buy in a week and be able to buy this. In, yeah, in this You'll large, week, this is the month. first <laughs> in this large kind of 17 plus inch format of a foldable device, which has unique challenges from maybe some of the other foldables. You have a much you know, longer lineage, linear geometry to, to work the fold over. Right, you have to get the radius of the fold right. And so uh, that's unique to this large size. And so yeah, this one will take a little bit more to work through all of the reliability and readiness for full production. But in a couple of years, we expect this to be you know, on shelves from multiple partners. It, yeah, now, so that's, go I mean, ahead, that's go a great ahead. question. Yeah. Like the timing wise, is it, is it a couple of years, is it 10 years? What is sort of the vision for when you get something like this to consumers in, in, a, in a real yeah. way, not you know, a $10,000 prototype? Yeah, right? so I think, um, it's our, our, our mission and our goal, right, is to accelerate it as fast as we can, but really make sure it's ready for the market. So you might start to see things as early as within the next two years. I won't put a specific date on it, um, but our, our mission, especially with Project Athena and our intention, is to bring the industry together to accelerate this kind of exciting innovation. You, you brought up Project Athena, so there's something that is equally as amazing on the inside of this thing, which is the processor. It's your next-gen Tiger Absolutely. Lake processor. Can you tell us a little about that? Absolutely. So because we have this large format device, this is you know, the next generation of a two-in-one. It has to be your full everyday laptop you know, and also do the high-performance desktop capabilities. Um, and so inside this device is our new Tiger Lake processor, an early version of that, uh, which you know, has you know, doubling the graphics performance and AI compute headroom. It's also double digit CPU performance gains um, year on year. And there's uh, Thunderbolt 4 and there's you know, next generation Wi-Fi 6. All of that in this device because it has to be you know, your full everyday high performance PC uh, in order to really delight uh, users. Well, I'm really excited to go to a Starbucks at some point and see one of these there <laughs> with my caramel macchiato. But uh, Josh and Bali, thanks for joining so us. We can also uh, fold the device when you're going back as a laptop, right? There you go. That, there's there you that, go. That's the money shot, so there to speak. All right, <laughs> look at that thing.